It's your car. It's not mine, but I do buy one. Uh, how old is it? It's 83 years old. It's three years old. And what's it? What, what sort of car is it? It's a 1930 Franklin. Franklin. So how long has it been renovated? Uh, I don't know. It was Just originally done maybe well, it's done in the 70s. Yeah. And then we've resprayed her a, a few months ago. And where does it originate from? New York. Uh -huh. So how long has it been in the UK? I think it came over in the 90s. No, in the early 90s. 90s. Uh, so, how, so how long is your friend been? Uh, since October. Uh, and who owns it? Uh, John right there, I think. Cheers, yeah, thanks a lot. Oh, talk to him. So, how long have you owned this, uh, this car? Uh, only nine months. Nine months? Nine months, yeah. Have you had classic cars before? Um, yes, I had an old studio baker. Yes. Which was about 20 years ago. Uh -huh. So much work have you had to put into it? This is a lot. It's, it's been mostly mechanical at this stage. Yes. So it was early stage of restoration. Paint and upholstery still need to be done. So what gave you the interest in, in classical cars? <laughs> Obviously, I, I, I do... I've had a, a huge interest in doing weddings, so yes. there seemed to be a, a gap in the market. Uh -huh. So uh, this is a wedding car, is it? It's mostly, it's yes. For hire. Yeah. So you've got a website? But, yes. What's your website? Luxurydrive.co.uk And that's based in Plymouth, is it? It is. Well, thanks. What's your name? Martin. Well, thanks a lot, Martin. Cheers. Okay, pleasure. Can I ask you... Is this your is your this your vehicle? Sorry? Is this your vehicle? Yeah, it's just right. Oh, uh, what's your name? Sid Cooper. And how long have you had this? Uh, I've this had Ford? it for what, 12 years now? Yeah. I've known the car for, well, a friend of mine had it before, so I've known the car for about 25 years, yeah. Yeah. Have you had classic cars before? Or have you got more than one? No, I've, um, I've got a couple of others. I've got a, a 1935 Austin 16, that big saloon, I've had for, what, 33 years? Yeah. And I've also got a, a a uh, so-called kit car, a JBO Falcon, which is, which is a nice car, a nice car to drive. And how did you get involved in classical cars? Well, I, was in, I had a garage, I did a motor trade, and I thought, I'm looking for something to do when I retire, and that's what I... I just um, look after all motor cars and yeah. just enjoy them. Yeah, that's so good. What sort of state was this Ford in when you when you got oh, it? Oh, yeah, it was. It had a body off restoration. Um, the the pal of mine, and, and Mike Thompson, and um, he did that um, about I would say about 30 years ago. Yes. I, I had to do some quite a bit of mechanical work at the engine out a couple of times, but. The trouble is with this, if you want to do any work on the on the engine, the gearbox, the clutch, you have to take the engine out. Yes. It's, the, it's a common sump. Uh -huh. And until you, you've got to take the engine out to take the sump off. It's, it's, like, it's for any, even a minor job on the transmission, this engine out job. What's, so. what's the uh, what's the uh, gearing system like on it? The, the gears on it. Oh, it's only it a two, gear it's just a two-speeder. Uh -huh. um, just a high and low. Well, the high is uh, is not a gear really because it's a direct drive through a multi-plate clutch. Yeah. And the low gear is um, 
is through a, an epicyclic gear chain, like a modern automatic. Yes. And uh, and the reverse is as well through uh -huh. the through uh, uh, um, <coughs> an epicyclic gear chain. You can't jump in a T and drive it because it the controls are completely different. You can yeah. choose both things. Many many years ago, I was at Fort Leavenworth in uh, in uh, in America. Yeah, and well, they were auctioning these off in, well, in raffles. That was about 25, yeah, <laughs> 25 years ago. Yes, yeah, they, and they were in peak condition because the the weather didn't wear cars out over there. There's there's a, a amazing amount of survived. I, I belong to the Modest T Register, and I'm, in our magazine a couple of months back, it, it said that in California alone, there's there's over 3,000 Model Ts registered. Yeah. Some of them are in collectors. Some yeah. people collect them. Somebody might have 20 of them, you know. But yeah. Well, the weather suits them over there. They, oh, it does, yeah. Because yeah. it's very dry, they don't yeah. rest. Well, you need it dry. I, I don't like bringing it out when it's wet. Because yeah. They never did fit front brakes to a T. I see. And, uh, and you've got skinny tyres, and, and you can lock the back wheels up. And you go on at the same speed. Yeah. Because of the, there's yeah, very little rubber contact. Yeah. So you have to be a bit careful. You leave a big gap, and if somebody's in it, you have to back off again. Gosh. Know, so. Anyway, it's yeah, quite fun. scary. Well, thanks a lot for that. Do you hide the do you hide the car out, or is it? No, I, I don't do weddings or films or anything. I, yeah. I just keep it for my. I get obviously asked a lot, especially wedding side of it. Yes. It's a nice wedding car, but um, no, it's just for my enjoyment. That's all. Yeah. Well, thanks. It thanks keeps, for it. Keeps me all, keeps me keeps you busy. Occupied. Yeah. That's yeah, it's it. a nice car anyway. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, they. Um, they did a good job from, from the very early days, you know, when it was bombed, I think about 19, when they first started, at 1907, I think it was, somewhere about that period, you know, yeah. through to 1927, when they brought out the A, which is that, that one there, that's the, uh -huh. the A series, which is a... Much more modern car. Can you imagine you know? uh, somebody with a with a submachine gun dri driving that one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, uh, where are you from then? Are you? I'm from. I'm based in Plymouth. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. But I was in the air force for 12 years. Oh, are you? Uh, full, uh, full time mountain rescue. Is this your is your is this your vehicle? Sorry? Is this your vehicle? Yeah, it's just right. Oh, uh, what's your name? Sid Cooper. And how long have you had this? Uh, oh, I've this had board? it for what, 12 years now? Yeah. I've known the car for, well, a friend of mine had it before, so I've known the car for about 25 years, yeah. It's yeah. Have you had classic cars before? Or have you got more than one? No, I've, um, I've got a couple of others. I've got a, a 1935 Austin 16, with that big saloon, I've had for, what, 33 years? Yeah. And I've also got a, a, a so-called kit car, a JBO Falcon, which is, which is a nice car, a nice car to drive. And how did you get involved in classical cars? Well, I, was in, I had a garage, I did a motor trade, and I thought, I'm looking for something to do when I retire, and that's what I, I just um, look after all motor cars and yeah. just enjoy them. Yeah, that's so good. What sort of state was this Ford in when you when you got oh, it? Oh, yeah, it was. It had a body off restoration. Um, the the pal of mine, and, and Mike Thompson, and um, he did that um, about I would say about 30 years ago. Yes. I, I had to do some. Quite a bit of mechanical work at the engine out a couple of times, but the trouble is with this: if you want to do any work on the on the engine, the gearbox, the clutch, you have to take the engine out. Yes, yeah. it's, it's a common sum, uh -huh. and until you, you've got to take the engine out to take the sum off, it's, it's like it's for any even a minor job on the transmission, this engine out job. What's so. what's the uh, what's the uh, gearing system like on it? The, the gears on it. Oh, it's only it a two, it's just a two-speeder. Uh -huh. um, 
uh, just a high and low. Well, the high is uh, is not a gear really because it's a direct drive through a multi plate clutch. Yeah. And the low gear is um, is through an epicyclic gear chain, like a modern automatic. Yes. And uh, and the reverses as well through uh -huh. the, through a, 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 <coughs> an epicyclic gear chain. You can't jump in a T and drive it because it. The controls are completely different. You can yeah. choose both big. Many, many years ago, I was at Fort Leavenworth in, uh, in, uh, in America, yeah. and oh. they were auctioning these off no, in, in raffles. That was about 25, <laughs> 25 years ago. Yes, yeah, they... And they were in peak condition because the, the weather didn't wear cars out over there. There's, there's a, a amazing amount of survived. I belong to the Modest T Register, and I'm, in our magazine a couple of months back, it, it said that in California alone, there's, there's over 3,000 Model Ts registered. Yeah. Some of them are in collectors, some yeah. people collect them. Somebody might have 20 of them, you know. But yeah. Well, the weather suits them over there. They, oh, it does, yeah. Because yeah. it's very dry, they don't yeah. rust. Well, you need it dry. I, I don't like bringing it out when it's wet. Because yeah. They never did fit front brakes to a T. I see. And, uh, and you've got skinny tires, and, and you can lock the back wheels up. And you go on at the same speed. Yeah. Because of the, there's very yeah, little rough contact. Yeah. So you have to be a bit careful. You leave a big gap, and if somebody's in it, you have to back off again. You know, so. Anyway, it's yeah, quite fun. scary. Well, thanks a lot for that. Do you hide the Do you hide the car out, or is it? No, I, I don't do weddings or films or anything. I, yeah. I just keep it for my. I get obviously after a lot, especially wedding side of it. Yes. It's a nice wedding car, but um, no, it's just for my enjoyment. That's all. Yeah. Well, thanks. It thanks keeps, keeps me all, keeps me keeps you busy. Occupied. Yeah, that's yeah it's a nice car anyway. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, they um, they did a good job from from the very early days, you know, when the bomb started about 19 when they first started at uh, 1907, I think it was somewhere about that period, you know, yeah. through to 1927 when they brought out the A, which is that that one there, that's the, yeah. the A series, cool. which is a. Uh, much more modern car. Can you either. imagine uh, somebody with a with a submachine gun dri driving that one? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, nice, yeah. Uh, okay. Where are you from then? Are you? I'm from. I'm based in Plymouth. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. But I was in the air force for 12 years. Oh, are you? Uh, for, uh, full time Martin rescue.
the tour last for? About 30 to 40 minutes roughly. So right. you go down around the Barbican to town and then back up, depending on traffic and that. How old is this bus, do you know? Uh, quite old. Oh, so, yeah. Quite old. It's a very old bus. It's, it's not in service, but we use it for private hires and that. So. Right. All right. Is it a free trip? It is a free trip, yeah. Help right. Well, we're right. Cheers, thanks right. so much. Cheers.
Is this your bus? No, it's the company's. And who's the company? Western Ground. Well, uh, oh, so that's Plymouth based company, is it? No, it's Newquay. 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 Yeah. How old's the bus? Built in 1961. Yeah. Yes. 
Has it uh, been running ever since, or? For various operators, yes. We've only recently uh, acquired it, so yeah. It's, uh, we've had it now nearly 12 months. So. And what route did it used to run? Uh, it, it was a Devon General bus, so it would have done the coastline up uh, Torquay, Paynton. So, uh -huh. yeah. But, I mean, we've, we've used it on our Heritage Day, otherwise it's, it's, it, it's a spare vehicle. Yeah. yeah, so it's uh, in constant use then, is it? No, we only use it on uh, odd occasions. Yeah. This is its second out in this year, so... Yeah. Right, yeah. thanks very much for that. You're welcome. Cheers. Thank you. 
Is this your boss? No, it's the company's. And who's the company? Western Ground. Oh, oh so that's a Plymouth based company, is it? No, it's Newquay. Newquay. Court, Newquay. Yeah. How old's the boss? Built in 1961. Yeah. Yes. Has it uh, been running ever since? or? For various operators, yes. We've only recently uh, acquired it. So, yeah. It's, uh, we've had it now nearly 12 months. So. And what route did it used to run? Uh, it, it was a Devon General bus, so it would have done the coastline up uh, Torquay, Paynton. So, uh -huh. yeah. But, I mean, we've, we've used it on our Heritage Day, otherwise it's, it's, it's a spare vehicle. Yeah. yeah. So it's... Uh, 